Hey, welcome guys. This video I'm going to teach you how to convert VCR, VHS footage, as well as DVD footage into a digital format. Now, I'm going to be dividing up this video into four parts. Part one is the state of things. How did I get here? Part two is why you should do this because a lot of people argue that this is a bad idea. Part three is how did I accomplish it? It's really easy for me. I use one little tool here. It's rather cheap. Uh, part four is other options because you don't have to use my method. There's actually a lot of ways to accomplish this very thing. So part one, the state of things, I was rummaging around uh, cleaning up my office and I found the tool and it gave me inspiration for this video. In addition to that, I'm in desperate need of a haircut. So before we go any further, I do want to provide some proof footage that I was able to accomplish recording VHS footage to a computer. Just to show you guys in case there's any doubters, here's some old family footage videos that I have. There's no proof or nothing that actually states that psychotic child in that video was actually me. Moving on to part two. Why do people argue that this is a bad idea? Well, I tried to explain this to older people of an older generation. So I did grow up with the VHS cassettes. I did grow up in the age. First off, almost no VCRs are made anymore. So you're out of luck in case you need one. The other thing is that VCRs or sorry, VHS cassettes take up a lot of space physically because they're large. In addition to that, if you want to make backups of your cassettes, that's also a bad thing. Recording from one VHS to another degrades the quality every time you do that. And in some instances, you'll run into tracking issues. I don't know if you guys remember that, where you had tracking problems, you have a lot of static footage and stuff like that on the screen. So overall, bad, bad idea. My counter argument is that digital format is well available anywhere. You can upload it to the internet on a personal cloud. You can have multiple hard drive backups and hard drives are really cheap nowadays. In fact, uh, your home video footage in, well, at least in my opinion, is the most important video footage you will ever have in your entire life. What I usually do is I actually have my main footage on a computer, then on another external in my house, then on another external at my in-laws in case my house ever has a fire that the footage is over there safe. And then on the cloud as well. So that's a bit extreme, but you know, someone from the IT industry, it's what I actually do. So now that that boring stuff is over, let's get into how I accomplish it. It's really easy. I have this little tool from Diamond. Um, it's called the VC500. I actually did this about three, four years ago, and I was shocked to find that this is still being sold as of this video recording. So I'll put a link to this product in the video description. One thing to keep in mind is that I noticed on Amazon, there's a lot of bad reviews on it, that sometimes the footage doesn't get recorded. Um, it cuts off here and there. I did have that problem. Uh, with the original VCR that I used, but when I switched to this one, I never had that problem. It always recorded fully. Um, so something to keep in mind, maybe this is not the tool for you, but it just happened to work for me. The process is pretty simple. You plug in one end to your computer, install the drivers from their website. You can just Google search Diamond VC500. In my particular case, you'll get the software to download for the drivers, as well as the software to download and uh, record the footage onto your computer, which is EZ Grabber and you're pretty much set to go. The other end gets plugged into your VCR with the good old RCA cables, you just plug them in. And that's pretty much it. On your VCR DVD player, whatever it may be, you hit play and on the computer, it'll show up the footage, hit record on here, on the software, or on the physical device itself, and it starts recording it to your hard drive. That's it, super easy, almost no work involved. But again, uh, there are some instability issues I was able to bypass this, so I recommend getting other products, which leads into part four. There are a lot of options available. You do not have to use this. There are multiple methods to do it. So you can actually buy an external USB device like this, like I used. If you have a desktop, there are actually some uh, video capture cards that plug in directly inside the ca computer case itself. So you can connect your VCR DVD player to the computer case. Um, and it comes built in with its own software, you can hit record from there. So you don't need this external device here. Um, you can actually use capture devices that are used for video game consoles. So a lot of people will record video game footage. Nowadays, a lot of it's designed with HDMI ports. In some cases, you might have the old component cable ports and you can actually use those uh, recording devices that are meant for recording video game footage from a video game console for your VCR DVD player instead. So thanks to the power of the internet, you're not limited to options just in your local store, but you are limited in options thanks to, well, time being passed on. What I mean by that, it's harder to find a VCR DVD player nowadays. So you gotta get on it if you're gonna do it now because the longer you wait, 
the hardest game to find one of these. In addition to that, it's also going to be harder to find some sort of capturing device that will be compatible with component wiring. So two tools you're going to need to accomplish this, the longer you wait, the less options you have. So get on it ASAP. So that's pretty much it for me. If you guys found this video useful, be sure to check out my social links in the video description. Hit that like button, it does help. Subscribe and thanks for watching.